Okay, there are still people out there who are using Windows XP and Vista. Why would you want to use that steaming pile of donkey do? Or Windows 8 for that matter. I mean, Windows 8 is like dog crap piled with pig crap piled with cat crap. Uh, Windows 10 is a lot better. Um, probably not as good as Windows 7, but hey, it, it's better than Windows 8, runs better than Windows 8, and at least it works. And Windows 8 was just crap. But there are people who still run Windows XP and still run Windows Vista, and some of them do it because they don't want to buy a new computer. They're happy with what they have. Or they are playing older games and they keep those computers for compatibility reasons. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes it's time to move on. And Valve is going to drop support for Windows XP and Vista from the Steam client. And there are several reasons why they are doing this. First of all, they want to improve Steam. They want to make it faster, more secure, and they want it to use less system resources. They want to add new features that for newer operating systems. And to make Steam more streamlined for that, they've got to drop legacy code. Basically, they've got to tear out the portions for XP and this stuff. Either that or fork it, and then they would have a fourth version of the Steam client in order to support. And right now they are supporting a Mac version, a Linux version, and a PC Windows version. And they don't want to have to support two different versions of the PC Windows version for older Windows and newer Windows. The other reason is because those older versions of Windows are no longer supported by Microsoft. They're no longer getting security updates. And those machines are vulnerable. And there are malware out there that are keyloggers that will steal game accounts. They will try to steal Steam account information. And they're doing it to protect their users by discontinuing support for these older insecure operating systems if you are using xp and vista you really should move on to a newer operating system if you can't move to a newer operating system with your current machine then you should get a new computer I mean, really you, you should be moving on and it i know that you know sometimes getting a new machine can be expensive. I mean, that machine in there we're building for the new set, well, that thing's getting close to $6,000, and that was money that we barely had. That was after, that was after Tigra and Dave saved up months to, uh, to be able to get it, because that's more than, that, that machine's gonna be for more than just my use for streaming and everything. That's gonna be our, our media server in there, so it was for all of us to use. That, that that machine in there is overkill. It's it's a it's a thread ripper system, and it's got 32 gigs of memory, and it's going to have a ton of storage and everything, and two uh, graphics cards in it. But it's overkill. But most gamers can get by with a machine that's not so much overkill. I mean, if you only have like a 1080p. TV or a 1080p display, you can get by with a GTX uh, 1050 Ti, which is about a hundred and something card, or hundred to two hundred dollar card, and on average, you can build a decent gaming PC that will play games better than both the Xbox One and PS4 for about 600 bucks five to six hundred bucks if you go with one of the new ryzen apu systems you could build a machine that can play games at you know 1080p 60 frames per second on medium settings 
which is still better than the consoles because the consoles usually use textures that are somewhere between low and medium. They don't use high-res textures. They don't use high-res textures. They use lower medium textures. And so you'll have a machine that's still better than consoles, even though it's not doesn't have a discrete graphics card in it. It's just using portions of video memory to uh, run the graphics, and it's got the big, it's got Vega graphics on the APU. So it's still better than the consoles. You won't be able to run really high-end games with it. You won't be able to run games on max settings but you'll still be able to play games decently and it will cost you no, probably no more than $500 to build one of them. So it's within the realm of possibility to do it. So if you are still running old OS's and you have old machines, it's time to upgrade, especially if you're a Steam user because very soon, you won't be able to run Steam anymore. Now, if you want to stick with those old, outdated operating systems that are vulnerable to attack, well, there's always games on GOG. Oh, good old games. You can still get games from them. And they have a client like Steam, but it's completely optional. If you absolutely, positively refuse to get a new machine and you still need to use XP and Vista, you can get your games from GOG and install them. Of course, it means rebuying your library, but, you know, that's the cost uh, you pay for sticking with an old, outdated operating system and not moving on to something new. As, uh, you know, we live in a world where jerks and script kitties create viruses and, you know, bad people try to steal your shit. No, not, it's not the hackers doing it. Most hackers are people who basically do it for a living. Try and break into systems in order to help them improve their security. Or they are just fiddling around with stuff as a hobby. The people that are the problem are crackers and script kitties. They're the ones that are creating all this malware and all these viruses. Hacker is a word in the media that is way overused and abused and is given too much of a negative connotation when in truth, it's not. So, again, if you want to, uh, if you want to keep Steam, upgrade. Come on, it's, it's time to move on. It's time to put that old machine to rest, move on to a new system, move on to a new operating system, and you'll be able to run you know, the modern games a lot better. And a lot of a lot of game developers want to stop supporting XP. Some of them still support it because there's still people who play games on XP, but a lot of them want to drop support for it because they want to move on to bigger and better things. And I don't blame them. So, I've been Mike. Thanks for watching.